Hello everyone. Thank you, Minna. Hello everyone. Welcome back to more Twilight Princess. Uh, in the last episode, we escaped Hyrule Castle. We met Princess Zelda, and then we came back here and got a sword and shield, but we can't use it because look at us. Ain't got no thumbs. But we are trying to get back to our human form. We need to track down these bugs these twilight bugs, uh, in order to get that to happen. Wow, I'm getting some stutters. Okay. Um, let's see here. So yeah, basically how this works, we need to kill these little creepy crawlies here, and they will drop these tears of light, and then we can pick these up. I think there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16? I think I counted that right. 16 of them. Um, they reduced it in the HD version, but I'm not playing the HD version. So, uh, you do get a little bit of an indication of where they are on your map, but that's kind of all you get. This was one that they removed, I think, in the HD version. Ah. Okay. I do think the light, or the tears of light, moves towards you more or less when you get close to. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they just move around. But if we go up here, you can see there's still one in this area. Hmm, looks like we can get in there. We can do another Midna jump to get into this guy's shack. The guy that we bought, uh, we, I mean, um, oil from earlier. We, I guess we just won't say what kind of oil. Well, well, a spirit in here, too. Really not loving the stuttering right now. What's with these bugs? Those things aren't normal. Oh, wait, what did I give this? Uh, it was the, They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Shoo, get out of here. I just edited the first part of this video today. And it went up today, too, so... What? They they just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on around here. I've got to go have myself a little smoke sesh in order to figure out what the heck is going on around here. Alright. Can leave... I think his name is Koro. But I think you need a guide to figure that out, so... Either way, or may, no, his name probably is said, because he's, he's got some relations to characters later, but. Alright, there's another one. No, there's two actually right here. Oh. oh, yeah, I guess it works a good amount, that little track down move there. He locked it, too, so that's fun. But he gave us the key, so I guess he must have relocked it. So I guess he must have had a spare key. Alright, we were in this area earlier. If you lit these torches, the area will look a little different. I don't know that it's necessarily any darker, really, because of how the twilight works, but... Um... But yeah, I get this fun, like... Good music. Alright. So over here... We will re-enter the Farron Woods. I guess maybe we were in them before? I'm not really sure. But this is the Deep Woods, and it's now filled with a deep purple mist. Come over here. Oh, I thought Midna had something to say about it, but... Um, basically, we can't... She might say something, actually, if we run into it. Uh-oh. Purple mist is not a good thing in video games. Who would have guessed? Eee, I knew it. From the look of it, I don't think we're going to get through here too easily. Oh no. Oh, my controller. My controller's um, wired connection is very finicky. So, anyways, sometimes it resets. So what now? What now is you use the stupid mid jump. There. Let's cross over there. Go over here. Oh, I missed. I missed, though. Will this take me back to the beginning area, or will it take me back to where I respawned? I just looked at the mini-map, and I realized I'd missed out on, uh... 
It's not the biggest deal, but I'll have to to re re come back to this area. All right, jump across here, and three bugs over here. I want to say they changed this in the HD version too. Oh, gotcha! Give me the light. I'm recording this pretty late at night because I don't know. I just got the sudden urge to play this game. Kind of inexplicable, but that's kind of why I'm doing a let's play of it. But I also copied my save so that if I don't like this footage, then I can re-record it later. But I'm gonna try to not do that. I really don't like re-recording things. Alright, we made it to the other side. We get some indication that there are some bugs over here. But we need to dig them up. Ow. Um, I keep getting my X and Y confused. Oh! Okay. One down. Alright. There we go. Alright, so, if you're like me and you forgot to get the ones at the beginning, then what you have to come do is uh, go over to this little dock over here, and then there's just a shortcut back to the first area, and that's that. And they're over on this wall. That one you can get on its own, the other one will start flying, and it's kind of a nuisance to get. Unless you can get it quickly like that. Alright, we're only missing two now. I'm gonna cut back to when I'm on the other side of this mess. Alright. Back over here. We can now head through. I mean, we could have gone through before, but I would... I would have just had to come back. Oh, wow. I I shaved today. Rather, I, I trimmed my beard. It feels a lot... I, I don't think I trimmed it. I, I shaved like stragglers but I don't think I had like a full trimming like this in like a month my beard feels a lot shorter now but I figured it's starting to get warmer with the weather although next week is supposed to be kind of cold I think it's going to get down to like 40 next week but not too terrible for springtime <laughs> either way um, this is important we'll need to remember this later that confused the hell out of me when I first played this game. We're now back in the area where Tallow was captured. Rather, where he was imprisoned, I guess. And we got more bugs. The last bugs here. People always talk about how tedious these sections are. And I really don't think they're that bad. There was a spirit there that we saw too, and it's the monkey that we rescued earlier. Someone, someone helped me. Yeah, we learned in the last, uh, in the last episode that in in wolf form we can understand animals. So, boy, lucky for me. Ever since ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? And so, obviously not just. Oh, I wanted to talk to them one more time, but oh well. Not just a human issue that's that's going on here. The animals have taken notice too. But with that, the vessel of light is full of tears, and light has returned to the area. This is always like, all right, now the game's beginning, kind of. When I was a kid. Oh, Minda. I love Minda. She's probably my favorite Zelda companion. Ah, oh, but it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of light anyway? <laughs> See you later. I was going to do the laugh, but then I realized she did it for me. I always thought that looked like a crown. I don't know if that was supposed to look like that, but that little, like, sploosh there, I always thought it looked like a crown. We now meet the second light spirit. With some stuttering. This big monkey, I think? My name is Farron. 
I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. I'm not going to speak this slowly. O oh, brave youth. In the land covered in the twilight where people roam as spe Yeah, see, no. You were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. Although with how frequently I've been fucking up the reading in this playthrough, I probably should read it that slowly. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. Hell yeah, green tunic. Now it feels like a Zelda game. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. Although, I don't know now. Is, Link, is Link's color blue now? His power is yours. His is the true power that sleep, slept within you. Sleeped. Your name is Link. Thank you, I knew that. You are the hero chosen by the gods. I don't know. Oh, that, that shot even when I was a kid was like, that's kind of awkward. Brave Link. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. Your refrigerator also just kicked on. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But the world weeps beneath the mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. This texture pack is really, really good. I don't think I gave it enough praise earlier, but... I mean, it looks so good. I mean, it looks so much better than... I mean... I, I don't know. Say what you will about the HD version of the game on the Wii U, but... Either way. Well, well. You're the, uh, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into the beast. What a shame. I mean, you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them. Totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? I don't know. I probably would. <laughs> Like, as a kid, you're like, no! But as an adult, I'm like, maybe. <laughs> uh, so, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it is, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're in that ta uh, temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. See you later. Alright, so, yeah, we're back as Link. We have access to the equipment that we got as a wolf. We've got the sword and the shield. We don't need to go back to the village, but I like... I, I There's a bunch of dialogue there, and I honestly am just curious. It's been a while. Normally, I do just go straight to the temple, but it has been um, quite a while since I've experienced the dialogue in Ordon Village. Uh, when the children are missing, so I'm gonna head that direction. Okay, so we're back in the village, and I don't know if the music changes or anything, I don't think it does, but the village just has a much more, like, eerie feeling to it now, without the kids in it. Just like, maybe eerie isn't the right tone, or, or, or right word, but it just feels a lot more empty without without them in it, which is funny because they're not even in it for the most part early in the game. They're over by Link's house. Whoa, what happened there? What is happening? Okay, it must be something with the edge of the thing there, but anyways. Link, you've come back to us. Have you heard? The children, those poor children, they were taken by monsters. I'd forgotten how quiet the village is without them. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's definitely a, a palpable change in the in the air. I forgot to mention this, but you can never get into this house here, and it always annoyed me. I mean, maybe, maybe there's somebody that's figured this out, but I don't think that you can ever get back in there. Also, the 
Maybe that happens when you use the bee larva, because I remember I, I ate it <laughs> in the first episode. Um, but yeah, here's uh, this guy. Is this Fado? I can't remember. Link, you're okay. Do, do you know what happened? You haven't seen the tykes, have you? These monsters stormed in here and carried them all off. Ilya, the little ones, all of them. Russell got hurt pretty bad, too. The mayor's gone looking for the kids, but he's getting on in years, you know? I'm worried for him. You gotta search for the tykes, please, Link. Like, it's just like, it's kind of interesting how dramatically the tone shifts. Huh, the shield on your back is the gift we were going to... I thought the monster stole it, but you got it before them? Boy, talk about a misconception on my part. That's good, though. Good. You never know where or when these monsters might appear, so I hope it's coming in handy for you. Well, thanks. I totally didn't steal it from your house while I was in dog form or wolf form. I guess they just call it beast form. This is a song that I think would have been playing earlier. But how can you be sad when there's the freaking puppy here? Oh my god. So cute. Alright, what's not cute is this. Link, the children, the children were by monsters. Oh, what are we to do? Tallow, mellow, please just be alive. Yeah, it's, it's not a joke to, to her, not a game. But regardless, Try to move on here. I mean, it is kind of like, in and the pe people always talk about you know what's what's the darkest Zelda game, and I feel like Twilight Princess, it's definitely in that conversation, um, but I feel like it's it's definitely the most like overtly dark in terms of like this is like the first two hours of the game, and it's like. These people's children have been stolen and, like, their lives just irrevocably, like, fucked up at this point, basically. Link! Oh, at last, a pleasant surprise. You are safe, at least. The silence of this village does it not chill you as it does me. While you were gone, we were set upon by evil creatures. I suppose you've heard, but the children and poor Hylia, they were taken. We were all worried that perhaps you had been taken as well. Oh, but I'm sorry. As much as I would like to give these tidings to my husband, he has just fallen asleep. It's truly a fine thing to see you return. I'm sure everyone would be pleased to see you if you were to stop in and say hello. Uh, Huli, monsters, they... my sword, they... Yeah, so, they're all... They're all kind of going through it right now. Everyone will return, won't they? I'm sorry, I must believe. If we do not believe, then our children are as good as lost already. Damn. Monsters. Be, be gone. Be gone. Oh, Link, that sword. The evil creature stole it from Russell, but you... You got it back. How wonderful. I know it's safe in your hands. And you need it now, yes? Please keep using it, Link. Well, Link, I hope you I hope you will return again to show me your shining face. It does my heart good to see well. Tough times in the village. Well, and I'm fucking around. <laughs> I'm like genuinely like getting choked up over this. It's been a while since I've come back to to read this dialogue and to see you know what's going on in the village I guess so as goofy as I feel for getting choked up over it I also kinda don't cause that's kinda me so either way I do wanna point out as well I'm rolling a lot here I don't know if, it's, if rolling is actually faster I don't know if there's been some sort of speedrunner study on it. I think it might be slightly faster, but 
Um, the fastest mode of transportation, aside from what we'll get much later, no, not much later, but later, um, is horse, and Epona will not come right now. Nothing happens when we blow the grass that summons her, so. I will, uh, cut back to where we, uh, need to be, and then we'll pick up from there. Alright, so we are coming up to the area with the lock here. Without a key, you cannot proceed. Let's go talk to this guy. Mr. Stoner Man, as I have apparently dubbed his voice. So, it's the Ordonian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? Guy? <laughs> There's so many monsters now. I got kind of scared and closed out the path to the temple. But you, guy, you want to go back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it, so here you go. There we go. Got the key. Oh, yeah. The woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out. I've got a special one-time offer of a bottle full of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. How about it, got my guy? <laughs> I know it doesn't say my guy, but... Alright, we're not... Um, I also sell oil on its own, so come back when you run out. Um, that actually is probably worth... I don't know if it's worth, like, grinding for, but... Um, it's definitely worth remembering, um, because it is another full bottle, like, or another separate bottle, I should say, so, right now we have this one bottle that is full of lantern oil, because I bought it earlier in the game, whoops, because maybe I've played this game too much and I know what's coming, but, um, it is worth getting that bottle. I, I always thought, it was like, why would I spend a hundred rupees on lantern oil, but... You're really not spending it on the oil. You're spending it on the uh, on the uh, the bottle. I always forgot you could do this, um, and I always loved doing it as a kid because I was like, "This is like I'm like a lawn mower mower right here." Um, but I don't know that you can do it in the HD version. But in the GameCube, I don't think you can do it in the Wii version earlier because you swing with the Wii remote. But in the GameCube version, you can just run and swing your sword at the same time and it's nice for cutting down the grass like that. I spend so much time doing that that I that the sun is starting to go down now. Sorry, I keep adjusting the mic. Um but now the the cave being lit up is kind of important. Um I mean it's not important. Obviously it's still dark in sections anyways, but you get that. Um, also, the uh, it's worth pointing out that the enemies are different in Twilight than they are in um, the Light World, I guess. Um, so, I mean, it's not really. It doesn't really matter, but I kind of like that they. I like the level of detail in this game. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it's a Zelda game, so it's not that surprising. Um, well. We can't really do anything as a human, except that we can if we use our lantern. Which just got stolen by Monkey. This is the third time we've seen this monkey, although only the second time the monkey has seen us, because we were in the Twilight Realm the last time. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? Also, uh, yeah, I guess they do have a tail. I was thinking earlier, as I was editing the first video, I was like, Monkey isn't right because they don't have tails, but she does have a little bit of a, a stubby tail at the end there, so I guess Monkey is correct. You idiot. <laughs> While you were standing off into dream, staring off into dreamland, your lantern got stolen. I always remember that being a big deal, too. I was like, Navi would never call me an idiot. <laughs> this is a different character, like a different companion. Alright, so now we have the really fun, uh, task of slowly following the monkey through the fog as it, um, as she, I guess, um, is gonna get rid of the poison fog for us. 
you can do this with your lantern on your own if you're looking to do this later. Like if you uh, if you missed the heart piece um, that I showed in the first episode, that is over in this cave to the uh, to the north there, kind of where I'm pointing. Um, your only option is to go back through the mist with your lantern really slowly like this. So good luck, but um, but yeah, there. You know, there's an upgrade that you get at the very end of the game, and I wonder if it does away with this stuff, too. I kind of doubt it, but but maybe. I don't know. I've never tried. Uh, the big thing that you need to keep aware of is the monkey gets scared when you uh, get close to enemies, so you have to kind of keep an eye on that. But also, coincidentally, it's going to walk right into an enemy right now. Oh no! Who could have seen that coming? Alright, come on, monkey. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. We're, we're away from... All right, we're we're out of it. Okay, you don't need to keep whatever. Anyways, it'll drop your lantern at the end of this with a conveniently lit spot on the ground, I guess. You got the lantern back. It ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around, so that is why I bought lantern oil earlier because now we can refill our oil or our lantern with oil. And there we go. I mean, Trillo's shop is up ahead anyways, so it's not the biggest deal. Yeah, I mean, you can just do it now if you want, but... And arguably, it may have been more worth it to do it now, because I could have afforded the, uh, the lantern oil if I had waited to do it. But oh well. Here's six rupees. Oh, that's the fun thing that we're going to have to deal with in this one, is since we're playing the GameCube version, every time I save and quit, it's going to show every rupee information again. Here's Trillo, though. I, uh, I don't... Mm, well, I guess I could buy a red potion. How much is it? 20 rupees? 30 rupees? No, I don't think so. Bye. Um, I'm good. I've played this game before. There's a pooch here. Hi, pooch. Oh, not friendly. Not friendly! Hmm. I've never had a dog do this to me before. Or that. Hello, skeleton men. It's, it's so funny who this guy is, because it's pretty obvious if you think about it. But I was I felt so smart when I was young. A sword a, a sword a sword wields no strength unless the hands that hold it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You're gonna talk to me like that? You must use your courage. Okay, no, <laughs> I can't keep that up. You must use your courage to seek power and find it you must. Only then will you become a hero for whom the world despairs. If you would find the courage and uh, if you uh, if you do if you do find true courage and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors that it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. So I guess I'm going to teach you some cool shit now. Enemies that are filled with attack uh, with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending bow is a secret technique you can, uh, that you, you no, I did read that right. You can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they, sp they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, L target and press A. That's for me. You blah 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 blah. Now try it on me. You don't need, really need to worry about it, because you're not holding the controller. But I press A when they're on the ground like that. And that does it. Mm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. The first hit... <laughs> 
sorry, so many innuendos there. The first hidden skill, the ending blow, has been passed on. I always thought Link it was so cool for doing that show when I was young. You learn the first hidden skill, the ending blow. When you fell a foe, lock on with L and deliver a final blow with A. There are six hidden skills for you to learn. Six more? There's seven in total, aren't there? Uh, those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero. The one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember these words. Farewell. And we're back. So funny enough, you actually need that <laughs> to beat the end of the game. You don't need or er, to beat, yeah, to beat the game, I guess. Not beat the end of the game, but in order to beat the game, you need that ending blow skill. Um, so when it comes to randomizers, that's very important. Either way. Um, we now have the access to enter the forest temple. How long have I been recording? 36 minutes. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do the forest temple. We did the twilight in this episode. I bet this will probably be like a 90 minute episode, but who cares? The alternative is we have two episodes. Yeah, I'm just going to do this in one, one big episode here. It probably would have been better to split the end of the twilight and then do this video separately, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. You're playing a game, you're not directing a movie. Alright. Um, so first off, there's some spiders here. And we're gonna need the slingshot. I don't think you need it here. Um, but I think this gets you some rupees if you head up here. Ah oh, man. <laughs> I love this game so much. I, I feel I feel like I had this bunch with Ocarina too, where I was like, man, I just fucking love this game. But um, but I I genuinely do. I I think this game is awesome. There's a chest up here. Okay, perfect. I thought there were only pots, but I was wrong. Ten rupees. Hell yeah. But I also kind of love that this for or this dungeon is like, it's like a forest inside of a giant tree like it, it's it's such a weird i don't know this dungeon is very odd it, it doesn't feel like a lot of other forest it does kind of actually feel like like if somebody took um people talk about how this is o twilight princess's ocarina of time but made darker um and I do, it does kind of feel like this is just the dungeon or the uh deku tree from in this game just made more extreme. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the, aren't you the popular one? All right. Um. Well, we got to take care of these spiders here as well. I mean, maybe you don't have to, but I'm going to. Links, slimes, climbs really slowly in this game. No more chests over there, it doesn't look like. But she needs... Ooh, she needs us to open the door. And... Now, we've got... I believe this is a Scotula. Does Minda give, like, enemy info? No, she doesn't. She doesn't speak because you're a human. How inconvenient. Alright, well, this, I believe, is this game's version of a Scotula. Um, and now, before we raise the platforms over here, there is actually a bombable wall there. And that is not a bomb. But this is. This is a bomb ling. And if we hit it with our sword, it will start a detonation. And we can blow that up. And I think that if you're playing the Wii U version of this game, 
this will be a stamp that you can use on Miiverse, which is no longer active. <laughs> um, which is, again, it's like, why did they replace so many rupee rewards with these stamps that were irrelevant not even 10 years after the game came out? But either way, now we have to light these torches. I remember this confusing me a lot as a kid. And that raises these stairs, which is why we wanted to get those rupees before we raise this platform. But we want to go over here now, and she wants us to go that way, but I think this is the map here? It is the map. Not super important for us, but still kind of nice. Alright, so this is what's kind of interesting about this temple. There's a huge outside section of it, which has very strong blowing winds. She's going to try and cross the bridge here. But that's a bad monkey. And bad monkey has bad boomerang. And bad boomerang cuts the bridge there. And also spanks his ass at us. I guess Bad Monkey does that, not Bad Boomerang, but... Phew! Alright, so we can't go this way right now. What's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, we can't go any farther. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. I get that. I also need to plug in my head headset, so let me do that real quick. Okay, Monkey is now beckoning us this way, and I felt like my, oh, my controller, so, oh man, the other day I uh, replaced the control sticks on my controller, and I feel like I messed up one of the, con the, um, One of the face plates that I needed to pry off, which is not ideal. I also realized that after I had pried it off, I had done it in the wrong way because the company's video that they had on their Amazon website did not show how to do it the right way. I was, afterwards, I was like, "There's a there's a tool that I have here that isn't. It doesn't like I didn't use it." <laughs> And, uh, fun fact about that was that, um, I was supposed to use it, and I actually broke off, uh, a couple pieces of my controller, and now I feel like I'm really missing those parts of my controller because it's not wanting to close properly, but, oh well. Anyways, there's this weird guy right here, so let's get him out of there. Whew! Out at last! Gracious! Once I got back in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help. Thanks. I've been hoping for something, uh, in, uh, I've been looking for something in here, rather. You must need something here, too. Shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? You may not think it, uh, I look like much, but I can be quite helpful. I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. So don't think of me as a burden. Now, let's get started. You met Uku. <laughs> And Link's face says it all. If you were, uh, if you call her in a dungeon, she will let you uh, out and allow you to return whenever you want. So she's like an item, but you can basically leave and return to whatever room uh, you last entered in. So I think, like, if we were to use her now, we would respawn at that door because it was the last door we entered in. For example. Man, that's gonna bug me, but oh well, sorry, my my controller thing. If only I had known to look up a third party a third party video for a third party repair kit that I was using. Alright, so she doesn't want to go over there, and I don't think I wanna go over there yet either. I wanna go in here. Because this is back outside, but there's a rotating platform here that changes with the wind. And we can use that to get across here into this room. And we can't do a ton in this room. 
But what we can do is grab a key that is in this chest right here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll come back to this room later. And maybe eventually I'll start rolling into things, but probably not. I think that that is probably going to be a, uh, a series long thing. Get back across here before the platform changes. And... Hmm. Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Alright, so this is why I wanted the key. Is so that we could go in this room. Because this room is its own little thing. And there's another monkey imprisoned here. So she's going to go down and try to... To help him out. I suppose it's him. I mean, I guess we don't really know. The flower, I guess, indicates girl, but that's also kind of reductionist, I guess. I actually wore a shower, uh, a shower, a shirt with flowers on it today, so. Not a lot of flowers, but. Alright. It was, uh, it was part of the Yikes collection from Eddie Burback, if you know who that is. Alright, we got some clowns here, but we got swords, so they're no big deal. We now have two monkeys in our posse, and there's a chest here, I think, with ten rupees in it. Oh my god, I'm just so smart. But the two monkeys now are beckoning us this way. And this is going to be a little bit of a tutorial on how we're going to get across the broken bridge. We are going to use monkeys instead of bridge because we can toss ourselves from monkey to monkey like that. But we need to build up our monkey posse a little bit before we can uh, before we can fully get across there. And we're going to need to come back here later because we don't have the item that we need yet. Um, yeah, we'll come back for that later, too. There's a, there's another chest in this area. It's only 10 rupees. It is a, I believe it's a stamp, if you have the, um, the HD version, but, I mean, the idea behind the stamps is cool. It's just that, in practice, literally now, their functionality is useless, because we've Air me versus shut down. So there, there's no point. Monkeys are not following us this way. I guess they're frightened? I don't really know. We got these guys, which are the be 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 Baba Serpents. Um, so when they die, they will um, come after you like snakes like this, which is kind of an interesting take on the, uh, on the Baba uh, Deku Baba Sprouts, whatever. Ah! I didn't want that. Alright. So this guy, I'm gonna use this bomb link to throw this in here, because these, I think they're called Deku Likes in this game. They're, they're kind of like Like Likes. They're kind of like Like Likes. Um, but they can't move. They're just stationary. Um, and so we use them, or we use bombs to kill them, which isn't really a like-like thing anyway. Oops. Uh, it's not really a like-like thing anyways. That's a, that's more of a, um, Dodongo thing. So it's kind of, I don't know, weird. But either way, this area has somewhere to go for us. I feel like these textures are not what they should be, but oh well. Some of them anyways. Alright, so there's another monkey hidden in this cave that has a spider above it. Um, but, this is going to be another important room later, I think. So there's a chest here, if we knock this off, which I think is also a stamp in the uh, Wii U version of the game which we are not playing. This is an upscaled GameCube version, if you're unaware. Um, I mean, 
we have the GameCube buttons, so I don't know. But um, there we go. Get across here. Uh, we don't have what we need to fully get across this area right now, so I'm just going to light these lanterns. We need to be a little careful of the uh, the guys hunting uh, hiding under the tiles here. But we can light these torches and get up here to reveal or to release rather our third monkey die oh he's being a little bit more sassy than the first one all right there's our first finishing blow in action there we can do our cool sword put away pose that way I guess all right, freed monkey. We will have to come back to this room, but for now, we are good to head out of here. We already got one monkey. I believe we need to get a second in here right now. And to do that, we are going to head over here. Kill spider. Kill jester. Um. And then climb up here. Monkey is freaking out because it can't follow. Fo it can't following us. Um, and then boom, it just appears up here. I guess. Now we've got this guy. Another monkey hidden behind bars. Just an absolute shame of our society here. Probably a marijuana incarceration, if we're being honest. And I just think that that's unlawful. Alright. So we have a bit of a, a fight here. No, now that I think about it, I think this is the Deku Baba. I don't know what those are. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. This is Deku. Wait. I don't know what this is called. Maybe a Baba like? Is it like a rogue like? I don't know. Um, but we need to kill uh, this head before we can interact with the kind of like like a body in the middle. It is kind of interesting that they go with like likes being more like plants in this game. Whereas before they're more like I don't know, animalistic. N not really animalistic, I guess. That's not the right word, but either way. Now this is open. Ooh, I kinda hate that. I really hate that. Um, but there are these bomblings here, which I'm trying to pick up, but it just won't let me, so I guess I have to hit first. And now you go get in the fucking thing. And that's that's what your life is. Okay? You're just you're just the bait to be thrown in and ex expunged by the enemy. Alright. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. But here's the key that's very sh sparkly and shiny and new for some reason. That always bothered me as a kid. I was like, it was just inside of a living creature. Why is it so, like, sparkly? But anyways. Alright. We free the monkey here. Grab a few more rupees, because why not? I was kind of hoping for hearts, but... Oh well. Maybe I can get some hearts over here. There's a heart. Have a heart. Okay. So now we have all of the monkeys I think we need to get across the middle. And if we come over here, actually this is important too. Why is this not working? Why why is that not working? It's not worth it. Just forget it. Okay, great. Just great. Take the bombling and throw it off the fucking edge. And it gets eaten by the like. And this reveals one of the... I think it's... Is it? I think it's the only heart container or a heart piece in this dungeon. Sorry, I just spoiled what it is, but only by a few seconds, you know. Hopefully not a big deal. Anyways, let's go 
back to the middle room where we can now hop across. Okay, I apologize. Oh my god. I apologize if things are a little different or sound a little different. This is actually a completely different night that I'm recording this on um, because I ran into some issues and long story short I had to uh, replay a whole bunch of the game but now I'm at where I was at and our monkeys can make a great little I, I, I don't know what, what do you guys I guess it's a same thing we've done before just jump across a giant chasm this time instead of a tiny little 15 foot drop or whatever oh yeah that's comforting. It's like that one ep or no, was it the SpongeBob movie where they they get to the edge and it's just like complete like whatever. I I'm, I'm apparently I'm not in cuz initially I wasn't going to record. I was just going to get back to where I was. But then I was like, "Yeah, this is a really fun game." I was debating with myself. I was like, maybe I should have just uh, done this one or played this game on my own time because I'm really enjoying playing it so much. But then I was like, yeah, but if I did that, then I wouldn't want to play it for the channel for another t 20 years. All right, I'm not talking about the game at all. Ass Monkey just brought down some enemies, and now we're in a mini boss. Um, they're the same Baba Snake enemies from before. This time, you need to roll into the pillar that he... Well, this time. For this fight, I should say, uh, you need to roll into the pillar that he's on and then just absolutely slash his ass. I, there's not there's not really a better way to... I mean, there, there definitely is, but... Either way. Alright. This fight is going a lot better than last time. Because I did get to a certain point in a little bit. It was right after this fight, basically, that I had the game crash. Um, but I just... I didn't like where the recording was, so I decided to do the, redo this part. There. There's a little movie magic for you. Um, is he still going to get hit? Okay. I'm going to say. There we go. Maybe if you use jump attacks, you can do it in two cycles. Was that, did I do it in three? I can't remember. But we got him. And it wasn't really the monkey. It was the bug on his head. Now it's dead. The monkeys are the good guys, remember? Although, I guess he would tech... Yeah, no, he would be a monkey. Are the other ones monkey? Because he has a tail. I was thinking about this. So, but I don't, I'm not sure that the other quote-unquote monkeys are actually monkeys. I think they might be apes, but... Oh, well. I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and now I've, I have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the strength of, or the power of wind aiding you in unforeseen ways. Thanks, Boomerang. It wasn't enough to just have a regular Boomerang in this game, no. They had to... They, I mean, I guess they kind of combined two items with this. The Boomerang and the, um... Like, the Gust Bellows, I guess. Uh, I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. Okay, let's co uh, continue combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching the places we haven't looked yet. Okay, Midna. That is typically how these goes. God, I'm never going to not do that. I feel like on the first try. I did it once while I was playing on my own. I was like, oh, maybe I'm getting there. But no. All right, so this kind of kind of like the Wind Waker boomerang, but not exactly. It has a lock on. Um, but uh, instead of it being automatic like the Wind Waker one, you can actually manually set the lock. And you can set up to five, I think. Yeah, but... For some reason, the game really thought you needed to learn how to do this three times, so they made you hit the same target three times. But whatever. Zelda games and their propensity to waste time for no reason. At least older Zelda games, I'll say. 
Okay, and this will be the first demonstration of it in action, because we can now change these bridges so that we can more easily get across them. And so some of the areas that we saw earlier we now have more easy access to, and or easier access to, I guess would be grammatically correct there. But we obviously aren't done with the monkeys, because this guy's still here. Well, I guess there's still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. Wow, okay. True RPG <laughs> mindset there, Midna. No, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, I missed it, didn't I? Oh, I don't think I was actually that close at all. No, it really wasn't. The, the wind had stopped blowing for quite a while, so I thought, whatever. Anyways, we're back over on this side. Which is good, because there are some things that we can get over here. Starting with, in this room, I have an eyelash in my eye. But in this room, was it an eyelash or a hair? It might have just been a hair. But either way, no one cares, dude. So now, we can get revenge on these uh, snake guys. If they land in the water, they die immediately. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They don't die immediately, but they die eventually. Um, but back in this room, what we want to do is put out these torches, specifically that left torch, I guess, or right if you're on the Wii. Um, we're playing hero mode in the HD version because that is also mirrored. But uh, there's a chest behind here. I don't know what's in here. Oh, it is a hard piece. Okay, I was going to say, I thought this was pretty important, but I thought there was only one hard piece in this dungeon. So what I said earlier is incorrect. Nice dive onto the floor there, Link. That was cool. Alright. Um, so yeah, I would recommend you grab that. I think that's the only thing in this room. And if you haven't grabbed the other heart piece, uh, now would be a good time for that as well. But I have. Even on my replay. Alright. So back in this room, there's really only one way we can go. Oh, there's an item we can get here too. If we... Oh, I thought I missed. I didn't, though. I accidentally blew out the torches, so we can't go that way again. I don't think we need to, though. Five rupees, too. Nice. Um, I believe this is the compass. Mm-hmm. Compass. Okay, Midna, do you really need to comment on everything? As long as you have that, you should be able to uh, find where captured monkeys are, right? I guess that is actually kind of useful information. People might not realize that you can see where the mon monkeys are with, uh, with the compass. But if we head back this way... Um, there is a chest in here um, that I'm probably not going to get. Maybe I will. We'll see. Um, but it's actually... Where do you get at it from. It's in the water. There's an entrance under the water somewhere. I'll get it in a second. What the hell. It's not really important and the GameCube was going to be my point, but uh, it is... Actually, it's not important at all in the in the Wii U unless you really want to collect everything. But there's a little pattern on the ground here. There's a conveniently... I don't know. I always thought it was like, oh, it's like Z for Zelda. But probably not that. It's just a little pattern on the ground. And that's where setting the multiple targets comes into play. That, I remember that really confusing me as a kid. Because I think I thought I did it right. And it was kind of right. It just, I don't think I, I think I accidentally set like two targets on one of them. So it's like, well, if I'm not supposed to pa follow the pattern, then what am I supposed to do? But either way. Okay. Um, this one, its entrance is not over there. It's over here. You can see it there, uh, under this tree root here, or rather in between it, and I guess under it. It's a big tree root. This chest, which has 10 rupees in it, but it has a stamp. I, I don't think I've talked about the stamps yet. Maybe I have. Um, but the stamps were in addition to the Wii U version of the game, and they were meant to be for uh, Miiverse, so you can stamp funny Zelda stuff on your Miiverse, to po uh, Miiverse posts. Um, but Miiverse no longer exists, and I don't think has existed for like five years, so those things have just kind of become irrelevant 
Um, and the unfortunate thing is they replaced a lot of rupee chests with them. And Twilight Princess does have an abundance of rupees for the most part. Um, thank you for locking your car four times. That was really cool. Um, and, uh, but, um, it, and I'm not sure, because I said this before, but this version of the game that I'm playing is a special version of Dolphin. Um, so I'm wondering, I don't know if it makes any gameplay changes or, um, if it's just, um, graphical. My guess would be just graphical, but they, there was some quality of life changes made in the Wii U version. Uh, like the, uh, whenever you get a rupee in this game, uh, from a chest that is, god damn it, <laughs> um, that, it, or rather, when you get a rupee, uh, and your chest, or your wallet is full. You get a rupee from a chest and your wallet is full. Um, bye. Um, <laughs> uh, Link will just put the rupee back. And in, in practice, it's nice, but at the same time, it also just kind of leaves like a bunch of chests on your map. Um, and also, I should say, like, if you have f f 49, say I'm at 449 rupees, out of my f uh, 500, or rather, I'm at 451 rupees out of my 500 rupee wallet. Uh, if I um, if I pick up a chest with a purple rupee in it to get 50, it will make me put it back because it can't fit. I guess the entire it, it doesn't balance out basically. In a lot of other Zelda games, it would just fill up your wallet to the max until it couldn't anymore. But that's all I'm trying to say. Alright, so we, it looks like are missing two monkeys if we are to judge by the uh, skill, I, I guess, yeah, no, I, I don't know, I'll have to take a closer look at them. I guess in order uh, for us to check the temple out completely, we need we need the help of the monkeys. Ah, uh, well, let's help the rest of them. Alright, well, we can certainly do that. We have to change these bridges here manually, whoops. Uh, it helped to get on the bridge before you changed it. Um... But that purple dot is the boss, so we're, we are physically not far from the boss, but we still need to find two more monkeys. You are being a pain in my fucking ass, man. I just gotta tell you that. Um, use the boomerang here to take care of a few <laughs> spoilers. Climbing in this game is unnecessarily slow, I do have to say. But again, you could say that for a lot of Twilight Princess. And I say that as someone who... I was thinking about this earlier. It's definitely my favorite version of Hyrule. Um, it, it, it's, it's my favorite world out of any Zelda game. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite game, but just being being back in this world is uh, is pretty, pretty nice. I like it. Get out of here. Really just two sword swings with, I guess, with the metal sword. They kind of introduce those guys to you when you s still use the wooden sword. I knew you were going to be one. Why didn't you pop out on time? I feel, like, cheated by the game there. That guy popped out when he was supposed to, and that's why I was able to get the jump on him. Alright, so there are a few things that we need to do in this room. Uh, first off, I don't know that we can do it directly, so I'm just going to do this. We're going to take this they're called bomblings. I can't remember. Yeah, they're called bomblings. Pretty sure. Uh, and we're gonna throw it into the mouth of this Deku-like over here. Unlike Navi, I don't think that Midna gives enemy names. So I'm going off a lot of what I remember my Prima guide saying back in the day. But there's a key here. If you remember, there's a locked door back in the uh, not the previous room, but the one before that, I should say. Um, that had uh, the big bridge in the middle of it. There's a locked door on the, I believe it's the east side of that room. But now, oh, I forgot about you. Okay. Now that we've blown up this rock with our really clever boomeranging, we can, uh, it's not really a big deal to kill these. I guess maybe it scares the monkey. There's a monkey behind there. Who could have guessed? We're looking for monkeys. And in the blocked off room, there's a monkey. Alright, um... But we can't, uh... 
actually just bring this all the way because basically the boomerang will take the fastest route to whatever its next destination is so if that means running into a wall it means running into a wall so oftentimes your bombs will explode earlier than you need them to wow I should have been checking those rooms because I bet I missed out on probably like 20 30 rupees at least oh well all right only one more monkey now I'll flip it over there they're flipping out um, and oh they didn't remain in their position that's lame as hell because now it just adds more work now I gotta change this one back again to where it was originally then change this one back and then walk across the bridge and then change this one back so much work all right um but now I have to go into this room and then walk down the stairs and then change the no okay, I'm not gonna I won't keep doing that um but over here is where the locked door is and this room oh I was legit like having trouble remembering what was back here okay I remember now you have to get this guy out of your way I guess you don't need to kill them but they're kind of assholes I feel like they always like laugh at you when they when when you step on them it kind of sucks all right another sculptula big sculptula Oh, I guess I could do that. Get tossed, spiders. Bye bye. Like Markiplier out here. I'm like bye bye. All right. But yet again. Oh, maybe it was this one that confused me. I think you just have to hit them one after the other like that. Yeah. And I guess it. Maybe I didn't know about like the locking feature I, that's probably what it was I probably wasn't paying attention maybe I, it's possible I couldn't even read yet not properly anyways because I deduced that I was five when this game came out so probably not a lot of like the big words I was only in kindergarten so and especially trying to explain the game trying to explain itself to a child of that age is probably not not easy I think this is another chest that got replaced by stamp but it's 20 rupees for me I'll try to I don't know all of them I'll try to point out the ones that I do know but we now have freed all the monkeys we have the boss key so there's nothing stopping us from completing this dungeon except if I go the wrong way that will stop us so let's not do that all right so now as we enter this room I guess they do have little tails All right, you passed the monkey test. You're going to form a gigantic uh, monkey chain, I guess, for us to swing on here. I, I mean, people talk about this one. I mean, nowadays I see more people being like, actually, Ocarina of Time is the darkest Zelda game, and I... There was a video, I think it was Liam Triforce, where he, he talked about how every Zelda game is the darkest Zelda game. Um, and uh, and he, like, puts together an argument for each game. And I, you know, like, it's just, oh, I thought that was going to hit me. Like, I mean, it wouldn't have been the biggest deal. I'm pretty sure I can beat this boss. But fairies are a typical Zelda fair. If you die while you have a fairy, you will automatically come back. So that's nice. Um, yay. Alright, here we go. Anyways, as I was saying though, um, there's a lot of goofy stuff in this game. I think a lot of the goofy stuff comes from character design, but there's even weird moments like that. It's like, any other Zelda game have a monkey chain that you swing on? Probably, but I can't think of it right now. Okay. I feel like those platforms are going to rot away really quickly. Wood and moisture usually don't go, go well together. Especially if it's like crappy medieval wood making. 
Not to imply that the wood working is crappy. I don't know if it is. But. We've got a f boss fight here. Twilight, Parasite, Diababa. Diabetes. Um, Alright, so the gimmick for this fight is to do that. You feed them bombs, and then they die. I feel like... I guess maybe because it's, it's called Diababa because it's like, oh, it's a play on Diabolical. But I feel like there should be some play on Dodongo in their name too since we feed them bombs. Dodongo Baba. That's what I would have called it. But then people would have been like, uh, you can't call it Dongo. Hello. That's the real boss. Um, so now, we don't have any bombs to pull from, and we just kind of have to run around for a second, because we can't do anything right now. We just gotta, just gotta survive. But what's this? It's our monkey friend from earlier, who was not our friend, but now is. And he's going to make it up, uh, for trying to, or for, rather for being an asshole by uh, swinging across here with some bombs for us to use. Um, so the the trick is you don't actually have to hit the other heads. If you do this and you kind of get... Oh, I was a little late. Um, you the, the idea is you got to get it kind of as he's swinging across, so it's best to be in the center. Midna, please, I don't need you to explain. I get, I get the idea. Thank you. All right. Lock on. Lock on. Alright, and then, like, as he makes the turn... Oh, 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 no, that worked. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so you don't need to get the heads. They, I mean, it's kind of like ripping off the tentacles in the blooper fight in uh, Mario Sunshine. If anyone uh, gets that comparison. But after you... Ow. Um, after you uh, get him... Okay, I'm not really sure. I guess he does it in a pattern. I always thought he, like, sprayed it at you and you just have to run back and forth, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Alright. Um, I think the heads might get more aggre- yeah, might get more aggressive as you, um, go on here, which might make it more tempting to go for them. Oh, but you can also do this to most of the bosses. You can use the fish finishing move that we got. I'll try to do that for most of them. If I, uh, <laughs> if I notice it pop up on screen. Ugh. I was kind of hated. I actually, I liked it in a way. It was kind of satisfying how it like crusted up like that, in like a plant way. But if you think of it as like a bug, which now I'm seeing like weird like insect legs behind it. Ugh, <laughs> it's kind of weird. I always thought of it as like a plant dying. But there's definitely some sort of animal element to it as well. Weird, weird that it's the legs that do it to me and not the mouths. But I guess it's because, like, Venus flytraps and stuff like that exist. There are plants with mouths. There are carnivi carnivorous plants. Well done. That's what I was looking for. That's a fused shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what the spirit said about how you had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is? all there is to it? There's a total of three few shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly where the few shadows are, well, maybe I'll tell you where to find the other two. I guess you'd better do your best to find them, huh? Ee hee hee. Normally she does the laugh for me. So let's not waste any more time uh, here when we could be looking for the other two. I'll get you out of here. You pick up that heart container that fell out of that thing. But Midna, what if I'm doing a three heart run? I'm not. We got our first heart container, so we now have four hearts. Yay. And we're three-fifths of the way to another heart container as well, because we got heart pieces. Let's get out of here. Heroic Link. Do not think that Hyrule is now saved from the spread of twilight. Leave these woods and go to the east where you will find the land protected by the spirit Elden. There you will find those you seek. 
but know that these lands lie in twilight. They are now a dark realm covered by clouds of dusk. If you set foot beyond the curtain of twilight, you will revert to your beast form, so be prepared. Hero chosen by the gods, leave these woods and go to the east, to the land of Elden. That's better. Searching should be much easier now. But, of course you feel the need to go help the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you, take, uh, when you turn into a beast, I'll take good care of you. The first thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. See you later. Alright. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. We uh, did the first wolf twilight section and then did the forest temple. So I feel like that's a good amount. I was trying to calculate <laughs> how long this episode would be with how much I left in from the last recording I did and how much time had passed in my... Uh, my save but either way um thank you all very much for watching i appreciate it as usual oh my god i'm like fighting off burps here this is really unprofessional um either way thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next one Bye bye